In our Spotlight on Business report, the years-long fight between a Jersey Shore town that's home to a toxic waste site and the state is far from over. Tom's River joined environmental group Save Barnegat Bay this week, filing a lawsuit to overturn a recent settlement reached between New Jersey's Department of Environmental Protection and the company that polluted the ground and water there for decades. The damage led to health problems for people living in and around Tom's River, including a rise in childhood cancer cases. As Ted Goldberg reports, critics are calling the settlement a sweetheart deal. The Sibagaygi settlement proposal hasn't gone over well in Tom's River. Now, the township is joining Save Barnegat Bay to sue and stop the settlement from happening. BASF and its predecessor, Seba, have been exploiting the residents of Tom's River and our environment uh, for the last 60 years. Mayor Mo Hill says the lawsuit challenges the proposal on multiple fronts. The state gives them 250 acres that they can market as uh, commercial real estate, which we don't think is fair to the residents of Tom's River. That land should be deeded to Tom's River as open space. Under a proposal accepted by the DEP, BASF would pay the state $500,000 as part of a natural resources damage settlement. BASF owns the Sibagaygi site, which polluted Tom's River groundwater for decades. The environmental organization Save Barnegat Bay alleges the damage is far worse than $500,000 worth, estimating the true value to be a billion dollars. They were relying upon, in their own words, a green acres valuation that was on a piece of property that we were engaged with in Bretton Woods and Bricktown. Well, that's a mature wooded parcel not a former Superfund site. The value of those two pieces of land are vastly different. Executive Director Britta Forsberg says the settlement proposal violates New Jersey's Spill Act and accuses the DEP of not giving the public enough time to comment on the proposal. We were called by the DEP into a private Zoom meeting back in December along with a, you know, an entourage of environmental groups. And this is when we first learned about the deal. They had only given 30 days for public comment. 30 days, mind you, that started on December 5th through the holiday period, of which we complained immediately about. First of all, the law at, uh, requires 60 days. Attorney Albert Telsey represents Save Barnegat Bay, but not Tom's River. He says other parts of the settlement violate the law and render the proposal null and void. You can't do environmental or NRD restoration projects on property where it's against local zoning to do it. And Tom's River has local zoning ordinances to say, we don't find that there's any ecological uplift in putting environmental easements on contaminated properties. Peter Hibbard isn't part of the lawsuit, but he's providing technical assistance to save Barnegat Bay after living in Tom's River for more than 40 years. The reason they came here is the dyes that they were making, and dyes have to be stable, so they're hard to get rid of. But the color of the wastewater matched the color of the river, so nobody would notice. You can see the fence surrounding the Sibagaygi site from his home. His first run-in with contaminated water was in the early 80s. There was mercury, there was cadmium, there was chromium. According to EPA data, those are three of the chemicals Sibagaygi dumped into the ground. Hibbard leads Ocean County citizens for clean water and has spoken out against the settlement several times, saying it doesn't cover the extent of the damage caused by Sibagaygi. A number of the people who had worked there uh, took me, well, showed me on maps where they had dumped barrels and crushed them. And the EPA was not even interested in looking there because they felt they could pick up the contamination before it left the property. The DEP tells us they don't comment on ongoing litigation, a lawsuit that could take a while, leaving folks frustrated in Tom's River. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Ted Goldberg. <laughs>